Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, February 18th, 2018. The Tarot card for today is the Two of Pentacles, and this one comes to us from a very new Tarot deck. It hasn't even shipped yet, the New Babylonian Tarot from my friend Roxana Paul in Australia. And you can go over and follow her, if you like, on Facebook at Roxana Paul's Tarot Art Studio. Even though her Kickstarter is done, you can still, you know, go there, follow her, check out her decks. This is not her first, because I know how you collectors love your tarot decks. Anyway, let's talk about the Two of Pentacles today, shall we? Today, the sun is entering the sign of Pisces. And, you know, when you look at things from an astrological perspective, all right, the next four weeks, we're closing out the year. I think we're closing out some important cycles as well during this time and you know we talked about when we had the other day the uh, new moon partial solar eclipse in Aquarius the, you know there's so much change that wants to come in and that whatever indecision there was that there was you know the necessity to you know kind of wait a little bit let the you know let the eclipse itself go past you know because things are always kind of up in the air this feels like a very busy card today you know with trying to do everything put this here put that there do this do that that kind of thing you know where we juggle in life and try to maintain some balance and that word itself brings up so many other things okay you know we have our balance in life between work life home life you know, maintaining that proper balance, keeping our priorities in order, that type of thing. Because sometimes, you know, events that come up have us going all one way and forgetting about another. So you may see things happening today that are asking you to, you know, spend a little time around the house, do a little something or, you know, get ready for work tomorrow because you're not ready for that presentation. There's something going on here. Okay, so... It's like busy, busy, and ch -ch -ch -ch, whatever's happening around you. But there's also that kind of, you know, I talked about the decision. And, you know, you're, you're looking to push forward. I think everyone in one particular area. And you're kind of like, mm, 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 you know, that it's not even just about going with the flow. It's kind of like a seesaw motion. You know, back and forth and back and forth, trying to decide. I don't think you're ready to make your move yet. So if you're trying to decide to make a specific move and your move is based on someone else's specific move, they're probably doing the same thing. Do I do it now? Do I do it tomorrow? Do I do it next week? When should I do it? No, 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 no. If I decide to do it this way, you know, all those questions, all that back and forth, there's a, there's a lot of ways that you can look at this card, but I kind of think that that's one of the biggest ones that's happening right now is, is you haven't quite determined. I think it's coming up very, very soon. I really feel before month's end, you're like, okay, that's it. I have chosen my direction. This is the way I'm going to set off, you know, in and the way my journey is going to take me and then all of the changes start to play out over the next few months so it's just it's one of those things but think of it this way if you just want to boil it down you know to the nitty-gritty of the day remember to keep your life in perspective don't get too out of whack with things all right with anything you know someone comes along and you're not quite sure Go with the flow. All right, just go with the flow with everything. And that is often easier said than done, but it's a very good way to live. That doesn't mean let people railroad over you, but definitely just, I don't think it's a time to resist, to dig your feet in and, and say, no. I think you kind of just need to go along with things at the moment until you see which way the wind's blowing. I think it's too soon after the eclipse to have all of those answers all right and like i said today the sun enters pisces 
you know, before you know, we'll be getting to the equinox. That's going to be a very pivotal point, you know, when the sun enters uh, Aries next month. All right. So, you know, if you're looking for more insight there, obviously I have done a sun in Pisces audio, which is available. And you can get that on Patreon, on YouTube, or even now through Facebook by going to the top of my page and looking for the special tarot guidance post, which will be pinned to the top of my page. And you can click the link that's included with that and follow through to find my videos there. So this is a very crucial time. And where you're at right now, I think it's just kind of like whatever chaos there is that feels like it's going on in the background. You just kind of got to hang on to life's buoy. You know what I'm saying? Keep on floating, keep on treading water, and know that the time is coming very soon. All right? So I want to thank you all very much for listening. I'll see you here again tomorrow. Don't forget to check out the weekly for the coming week. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care.